Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Motion Bring you guys a video that I've never really brought to you guys in a long time. I haven't really talked to you guys. I've been doing tips and tricks and other Fortnite videos that I never really got to talk to you guys and tell you guys like my plans and stuff like that. But in today's video, I have to tell you guys something that I lied to you guys about a while back. I think this was probably about a month, maybe a month and a half ago where I told you guys something and it might have been a lie. Now, I didn't intentionally mean to lie to you guys on purpose. This is just something that like, it's one of those things where you just never want to say never because you may have a certain mindset towards something um, and then if you say never and you tell people, oh, never, no, never this or never that, you never know that your mindset might change. Things might change so it ends up becoming a lie because you, you tell people this. Now, first off, I want to apologize. I want to apologize for, for telling you guys this about a month ago. I told you that I was never going to ever start PC gaming. I would never switch over. I would always be a console gamer and everything like that. But recently, the past, I think two or three, actually probably maybe four videos, I've been uploading PC gameplay. I've been doing some PC gameplays in the background and some of you guys have actually noticed it. Some of you might not have noticed it, but I read the comments and a lot of you guys have been noticing this. I was going to make this video a while ago telling you guys, explaining why you're seeing this and I haven't replied to any of the comments because I wanted to make this video to address it out to everyone basically i said about a month or two ago i made a video talking about why i'll never switch over to pc and why i would stick to console now the reasons i said that was because i wanted to be one of the top tier console players i wanted to be one of the best console players and to show the world that console players deserve a platform they deserve a chance to be able to game in big tournaments and be able to play with the big leagues be able to play with the pc players and stuff like that but recently nick Merckx just i mean the second i said that not even a week later nick Merckx just proved the point completely right that I mean console players can keep up with PC players. Nick Merckx competed in a tournament called Friday Fortnite if you don't know what it is it's basically where all the top tier streamers and stuff like that they start playing in a tournament for like ten thousand or five thousand dollars or something like that I think now it's up to twenty thousand dollars but the first one I believe was only up to five thousand dollars it was the very first week Nick Merckx ended up winning the tournament which is insane a lot of people were like wow this is crazy that a console player ended up winning a tournament with a lot of PC players in it now there was a lot of top tier PC streamers that were playing this and a lot of people say PC players have an advantage they have they're able to build quicker and stuff like that and edit a lot quicker and all this stuff but Nick Merckx proved my point that console players can keep up with PC players and it's not right for them to leave out console players from these big tournaments and stuff like that so Nick Merckx already proved my point now once that happened I saw that Nick Merckx was able to do something that I wanted to do if Nick Merckx wasn't going to do that that was my goal I wanted myself to be that prime example that console players should not give up console players should grind out as much as they can so they could become a pro you, it's possible to become a pro console player in Fortnite. now even after he achieved this I still had the drive it's not like my desire for playing on console died just because Nick Merckx did what I wanted to do first I still had the drive to actually get better at console I still wanted to become one of the very best console players out there so I was grinding it out still getting better each day and still I do play console to today it's not like I completely gave up on console gaming I only play PC I literally play console a lot too it's just PC gaming I'll play it every once in a while just to get my skill a little bit better on PC PC is a different level and it's a different atmosphere when it comes to Fortnite compared to console gaming and I will always be a console player but recently I've been playing PC a little bit more and I wanted to make this video because I want to apologize to a lot of you guys because I did promise or say that I wasn't going to ever switch over to PC and you guys have noticed that I've been doing PC I hope you guys forgive me for this don't think that I gave up on console I still play console I still keep up with console and I still try to give you guys the best tips and tricks on console because I know I have to keep playing console in order to give you guys the tips and tricks and stuff like that I'm going to have to keep playing console so that way I can learn the ins and outs and actually give you guys the go-to tips so keep in mind I still will be playing console and stuff like that but with that being said that is why you guys have been seeing some PC gameplay in the background I do think that I'm actually getting really good at PC I think in just under a month of playing on PC I'm at the same skill level that I was on PS4 now again I will break down uh, what the difference is in another video so if you guys do want to know like what the difference is and if it's easier my uh, personal opinion from going from top tier console player to a brand new noob on PC let me know down in the comment section below Give this video a thumbs up if we can kill like 500 likes on this video i would appreciate that a lot you guys and i'll show you guys my opinion and what i really think about pc compared to console and stuff like that but with that being said yes i did play a little bit more uh 
PC rather than console, but I'm not leaving you guys. I promise I still game on PS4. It's still a lot of fun. I love doing it. It's just PC is another level. And also, when I'm playing on PC, I learn new things that I've never learned about before. If you guys are seeing the gameplay in the background, this is literally a solo duo. I did play with a teammate, but he died right at the start, and it wasn't even a friend of mine. It was literally a random person who did not have a mic at all, so I was just playing by myself, really. He, he stayed in the lobby. Surprisingly, after he died, he still stayed in the lobby and stuck it with me to watch me get this victory royale, which is insane. I dropped, I think, 19 kills, which is the most kills I've ever had on PC for a solo duo. It's an insane gameplay, so I thought you guys would enjoy this, and I thought maybe if you guys watch a gameplay like this, you would be able to understand why I moved over, and you would be able to still like me just as much as you did before I moved over. I still will give PS4 tips and tricks, don't worry. I will probably, I don't know if I'll ever do PC tips and tricks, just because the PC community, they already have a lot of top tier players, and I don't think a lot of people really need tips on PC, because a lot of them are actually pretty good at the game. You're either really bad or really good on PC, so a lot of people don't care for the tips and tricks. If they're really bad, they're just playing for fun. They're not really trying to get better at the game, and if they're really good, they already are good just naturally at the game. So, I still will give you guys console tips and tricks. If you guys can actually give this video a thumbs up, if we can kill 600 likes today, tomorrow I will drop one of the best tips and tricks that I have for you guys on console in tomorrow's video on how to get more victory rounds. I have over, a, I think, eight or 900 wins on console, so I still have a lot of wins on console. On PC, I think I only have like 30 wins right now, but again, I just started. This is, I think, my first month of playing. I got this PC, I believe, in April, but it didn't get here till a month after. April 1st is when I ordered it, and it didn't get here till a month after that date. So I received the PC around May 1st, but I did not game on PC. Even though I had this PC, I did not buy it to game on PC. I only bought this so I can live stream and stuff like that. So some of you guys have questions about the live stream. My internet changed. We have a crappy internet, so stay tuned. I'm going to be doing explaining what happened to my live streaming and stuff like that in another video. Guys, I do apologize. I have to wait till we upgrade the internet. My parents, I don't know why they did that, but thank you guys so much for all the love and support. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.